Hello and welcome to another episode of the Evit Screencast. My name is Christian Förster and this will be the first of several episodes outlining a complete red workflow for your Avid editing application from ingesting the footage to onlining and conforming it. Today we'll convert red footage to DNX HD in order to import it into Media Composer for offline editing. For this we'll use Avid's Metafuse which provides a simple interface to the process. And links to, to the program and everything I'm talking about can be found in the show notes for today's uh, episode. Metafuse is only available for Windows unfortunately, but Uh, you can use a bootcamp on your Mac or a virtual machine. I'm using a virtual machine right now, but of course the performance will be better if it's if it's in a non-virtualized window. So maybe bootcamp for that, or just use your Windows machine. Now the first thing you do is click Scan Folders and click on the drive that your R3D files are on, and the folder. It's uh, cleverly named and add that to the selected paths. There's pretty much nothing else that you need to do. You can limit the file types to R3D and say scan. Now it scans all those folders for all the R3D files and it's found them. Now you hit Control A to select all R3D files and hit new transcode. This will set up a transcode for each of the files. Now select all transcodes by hitting control shift A. This will uh, select all the transcode processes that you have just created. Now you can change the properties of these transcodes. For example, can change the folder of where the transcoded files are supposed to go. Now I have uh, put them on a folder on my Mac. Now since Metafuse transcodes directly to, to Avid MXF files, you could transcode directly um, to your Avid Media Files folder and save a step later on of copying the MXF files to your Avid Media Files folder. The clip name you should not change. You can change the project name. You can change the format. Now, um, the R3D files that, uh, that I use are 4K 25P. So uh, I want to use uh, 1080p 25 frames per second for my offline editing using the DNX HD codec for the compression. You can choose what uh, compression you would like. I'm going for the small file size of the DNX HD 40 or 36, depending on your frame rate. Now 1080p is of course 16 by nine and I have a two by one resolution in the original. So what is it to, supposed to do? You can say, uh, stretch it or squeeze it, depending on the way you want to look at it uh, anamorphically. You can have it letterboxed or you can go pillars and this will crop the image on the left and the right. And that's what I'm using because it's supposed to be cropped uh, for later release anyway. Down here you can add a comment and change the debayer quality and the resolution of the debayer and the ISO of, of the image for your import. Now it, it uses the ISO that, that the image was shot at and this was shot at 200, 2000 ISO. As this is for offline, these settings are, are fine. Okay, so now we have changed that for all the transcodes. For example, the directory path that I set just once is copied to all the transcodes. You could, of course, also change each transcode individually if you'd like to change, for example, the ISO of uh, individual uh, clips here. You could, you could definitely do that. Now the next thing you need to do is export an ALE. Navigate to the folder you want to 
I export the ALE to and give it a name. Say save. And it saves uh, an ALE file that you need to import into your um, Media Composer later. Okay, now that you've exported the ALE, you can hit transcode. And now this is going to take a pretty long time. <laughs> okay, so I'm back from the future and all the files have been transcoded miraculously. Uh, they're here, right here, they can see. Nice, clean MXF files. And they, of course, also show up in Finder. And now all you have to do is copy them to your Media Files folder. I always like to um, create a new numbered folder because there's a certain amount of files that you can have in each folder. And just in case your copying would increase that number to the, to the point where everything would blow up, you know, I just uh, just just create a new folder, just increment this by one. So in this case, I have a two. So just select all the MXF files and drag them over to the folder. Now they're in there. That's fine. Go back to your editing application. Now if it's automatically notices there's something in that folder, I'll have to scan it and updates its database. Now all you need to do is import that ALE file that you created way back when in Metafuse. Open that. It is all the master clips that are currently offline, of course, because it hasn't relinked them to uh, to the media files. That's what we're gonna do now. Select all the clips. Go to clip, relink. If you want to choose the drive that your media is on. And if in Metafuse you didn't give uh, all the transcodes the same project name as your project, you have to uncheck this relink only to media from the current project. Now I did give it the same name, ASC08. So I can I can leave that check mark on. But if the clips don't relink, just uncheck that mark and you know you should be good to go. Alright. So now it relinks. And there you are. All the clips have been magically relinked and you can start editing. So you can see uh ingesting stuff is pretty easy. The next week we're going to conform to DPX files using a tool called Monkey Extract. All right, so thank you for watching this episode of the Avid Screencast, a couple of more Red Workflow episodes coming up. And if you like, go ahead and subscribe to the podcast at avidscreencast.com or in iTunes by just searching for, for, you know, Avid. And of course, on the website, you can also watch past episodes and uh, check out the show notes. And if you have any comments or suggestions, just drop me a line at mail at avidscreencast.com or just comment on the website. And don't forget to follow me on Twitter at twitter.com slash avidscreencast and also check out the Facebook page at facebook.com slash avidscreencast. And if you like to see what I do in my day job, check out editguy.de. This is where I promote myself. All right. Again, thanks for watching. Uh, Have a nice uh, day. See you next time. Goodbye.